Good evening, it's your boy Big D, and welcome to your NFL Weekly Picks Edition. This will be week one. Now, I got the schedule up on the computer. I'm going to run through each and every one of these teams, who I think is going to win, and for most of them, I'll explain why I think they will win. So without further ado, let's get started. Anyway, who do we got first? Kansas City Chiefs at New England Patriots, Foxborough Stadium, 8.30 Eastern Time, NBC, which means we start the season with Al Michaels and Chris Jamoaksworth at commentating. Yeah, I got the New England Patriots winning, and here's why. New England Patriots are arguably the best team in the league. They're, they're, I don't give a shit what anybody says. They're arguably the best team in the league. And especially with the Super Bowl momentum and everything that comes with them, we already, I don't need to, need, I ain't got to sit back and explain what they're about. But the Kansas City Chiefs are a team that's good enough to, Kansas City Chiefs will give them a good matchup. But I think New England will win by a margin of 10 points. It'll be a moderately scoring game. Yeah, I got New England. Next game, <clears throat> New York Jets at Buffalo Bills in Buffalo. I got the Buffalo Bills winning this one. The Bills, they're entering a season with, with a new head coach, Sean McDermott, who I think we should have gotten instead of Doug Peterson, but what doesn't matter. What's done is done. And they're going to be entering the season with Tyrod Taylor at quarterback and LaShawn Shady McCoy at running back. Yeah, thanks a lot, Chip Kelly, you fucking douchebag. And the New York Jets. New York Jets, they're kind of a joke right now. The, the Jets are just a fucking dumpster fire. They may be the worst team in the league this season, but we can't really say that until we actually see them on the field. I mean, they may surprise some people, but I just... I see them as potentially being the worst team in the league, so yeah, I got Buffalo. Next game, Philadelphia Eagles, my Eagles, against the Washington Redskins at FedEx Field. It's a tough one to call, but um, I'm going to have to go with Washington. It's just a gut feeling. I feel like Wa Washington has had our number for, for the longest time now, and I'm hoping that it's different, but... I think the Washington Redskins will beat us this week and will beat them in the rematch. I've been saying that in my prediction vids like before the season even started, before the preseason even started, and I still feel that way. I got the Redskins winning. I think it'll be a score of 27 to 24. I'm hoping I'm wrong there. Anyway, next game. <sighs> this is a good matchup right here. This is a good matchup. Oakland Raiders versus Tennessee Titans. Very good-ass game. I got the Oakland Raiders winning this game. It's a game that could really go either way. It could go in Tennessee's favor just as easily. I mean, Tennessee, I've, I've said it in the past, Tennessee is a team that is on the rise, and if they don't if they don't make some noises there, if they don't have a winning, winning record, something ain't right. But I think the Oakland Raiders will take this game because I think the Raiders are also going to be better this year. Next game, Tampa Bay Buccaneers at Miami Dolphins. Yeah, I got the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers are a team that I am fucking grateful my Eagles do not play this year. Because the thing is, the Buccaneers are scary as hell on paper. I mean, you got James Jameis Winston's the young uprising quarterback. You got Muscle Hamster at running back. He hates that name. You got Muscle Hamster at running back. You got okay at receiver. You have Mike Evans, Deshaun Jackson, but now you have Chris Godwin from Penn State and tight end OJ Howard. On uh, and on defense, you have Gerald McCoy, Levante David, and now T.J. Ward. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good I'm on facing them. No, thank you. I don't want any part of them. Uh, yeah, I got tan. I got Tampa Bay, but I do think Miami does have a fighting chance here. And Miami is always the type of team you could never really count out. Next game. Jacksonville Jaguars at Houston Texans at NRG Stadium. Yeah, I got Houston winning. Houston... 
Well, Houston has one of the best defenses in the league. I mean, J.J. Watt, he no, needs no introduction. And Jacksonville, I don't really know what Jacksonville's about. I mean, I heard that Chad Henney is going to be starting at quarterback because I think they just, I think the franchise has completely given up on Blake Bortles, which is such a shame considering how much they invested in him and, all, and everything when they got all those weapons for him. And now they got in the defense to balance out the offense, which was pretty damn good in 2015. And now he can't do shit. It's such a shame. And Jacksonville is one of those teams I hope succeeds, but I kind of have Houston winning this game. Next game, Arizona Cardinals at Detroit Lions in Detroit. I got the Lions winning this game. The Lions offense, in my opinion, is scary good with Matthew Stafford and Jim Bob Cooter. I mean, Arizona is no slouch either, but... The, the Lions offense is scary good, and you can never count the Lions out. Even if the Lions get beat the whole game, they can still come from behind and win. They've done that a lot th last year. And on defense, they got they got Darius Slay, the most underrated corner in the NFL, in my opinion. So yeah, I got Detroit winning that game. Next game, Atlanta Falcons at, Chicago's, at Chicago Bears at Soldier Field. Pfft, yeah, Falcons. Next. Baltimore Ravens at Cincinnati Bengals in Cincinnati. I'm going with the Cincinnati Bengals here. I kind of it's always a good matchup. They've always played each other tough. The Bengals have a pretty decent matchup versus Baltimore, and I think they can win this one. Now, the Bengals are a very talented team. The the defense is known to be very undisciplined, especially with Adam Jones and arguably one of the dirtiest players in the game today, Vontez Bursifit. I think Cincinnati's starting to get sick of his shit. And on offense, you have Andy Dalton, who's not very good, even though we made him look like Peyton Manning last year, and you got A.J. Green. To be honest with you, I think they need to make a change at both coach and quarterback. Marvin Lewis, he's basically a lamer version of Andy Reid when he was here in Philly, though we are 0-2-1 versus him with Reid, but that's neither here nor there. And the Ravens, well, they kind of fell off ever since they blew a 14-point lead versus New England. Not once, but twice in 2014. I was pissed off. I wanted Baltimore to win that. I fucking can't stand New England. I will always hate New England. That is never going to change. But I think ever since then, not to mention followed up by the myriad of injuries in 2015 and everything that's happened, they've just not been the same. Maybe they'll turn it around. I don't know. But anyway, I got Cincinnati winning this game. Next, Pittsburgh Steelers at Cleveland Browns. Pfft, yeah, Pittsburgh. Cleveland is a joke. Next. Indiana, Indianapolis Colts at St. Louis Rams. No, not St. Louis Rams. Los Angeles Rams in Inglewood. I kind of have the Rams winning. And the reason why is because Andrew Luck is not playing for Indy. And speaking of Andrew Luck, people often say that I, that I look like Andrew Luck. I've had family members say I look like Andrew Luck, and I believe some people in the comments section have said I look like Andrew Luck and said I should get an Andrew Luck jersey and be an impersonator. I'm not going to buy any other jersey other than an Eagles jersey. I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. And the Rams also could surprise a lot of people considering the fact that Wade Phillips is the defensive coordinator. So, yeah, I got the Rams. Next game, Seahawks at Packers in Green Bay. I think Green Bay wins because the Seahawks and Packers, it's usually the home team that wins. Last two times they played in Seattle, Seattle won. Last two times they played in Green Bay, Green Bay won. <clears throat> Panthers at 49ers. Yeah, Panthers I think the Panthers come back this season. I think they're going to be an 11-5, 12-4 team this season. I think they just had an off year. It's like Chris Jamokes Earth said during a Sunday night game versus Pittsburgh when they were losing week three. They said, he said, the Panthers have not had two consecutive winning seasons. And I and it's a trend that's been, that still exists even today. But I think the Panthers turn it around this season. But I got the Panthers winning this game. Next, New York Giants at Dallas Cowboys. Fuck both of these teams. 
I mean, already as an Eagles fan, I, I hate both of these fucking teams with a passion. To be honest with you, fuck picking sides. I'm just not going to watch the game, and whoever wins is whoever wins. I just don't care. But if I'm going to make a prediction on who I think is going to win, I kind of have to give the advantage to the New York Giants because they have the defense advantage. I mean, Dallas, we already know how great their offense is with the best offensive line in the league. And I don't know if Zeke will be suspended or not. I mean, if if Zeke if Zeke's suspension is upheld, is if it stands, then that's a major blow to their offense. I got the Giants winning that one, but it's a very close one. New Orleans Saints at Minnesota Vikings. Yeah, you got the be New Orleans Saints, one of the best offenses in the league. Minnesota, New Orleans, one of the best offenses. Minnesota, one of the worst. Minnesota, one of the best defenses. New Orleans, one of the worst. So it's a matchup that could really go either way, but if we're being honest here, I'm going with the Saints. I just think that I just think the Saints offense is way better than the Vikings defense is better than either way. I think no no no. What I mean by that is I think the Saints offense is so much better than the Vikings offense, then the Vikings defense is better than the Saints defense. If that makes any sense. And last but not least, Chargers at Broncos. I got the Denver Broncos winning that game. Uh, the Chargers are really not that good. And I think Denver, I think Denver suffered, suffered an off year because of the rising teams in the AFC. You had the Miami Dolphins, you had the Tennessee Titans, you had the, you had the Oakland Raiders rising to prominence. I think Denver dropped down to the lower echelons because of that, but I think Denver can pull it together. Anyway, those are my picks. Let me know what y'all think. Like the vid, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Later.